Hey crafty cuties, welcome back to Paper Terrace. If you're new, I'm Jessica. Today we are working on the Bohemian Journal series, but we're actually going to be creating some things that will be going into this final journal. So I'm gonna put the cover away. If you didn't see this video, you can check it out. I'll have the link below. Today, we are working with envelopes. This video has been requested for a while, so I'm excited to get to it. I have some blueprint ideas because we're creating five different easy ways that you can use envelopes in your journals. I've made videos like this before, but it's always fun to recreate them and I have, you know, different ideas. And again, let's keep in mind, these are very simple ideas, but I want to keep it that way because it's nice to have simple ideas that you can spruce up make your own and so go ahead and grab your recycled envelopes i have recycled envelopes here and i have some other envelopes that were sent to me from pamela she sent me hundreds so thank you to pamela and we're going to get started by using a recycled envelope for this first idea now while this one has a pocket um, I'll go ahead and show you how you can do this without a little window. Sorry, not a pocket, but a window. But we are going to be using one of the windowed envelopes. I mean, everyone should definitely be able to get their hands on these. You can just use the ones you get in the mail. You can see this one's actually pretty tore up. But we're going to create just a really pretty um, window pocket. It's going to be simple. So. Let's go ahead and we're gonna cut this down. I was trying to decide because I have a few different ones here. I'll use the one that looks best, which is this one, but I really like this bigger one too, but we'll save that for a different project. And don't worry if you have writing on the envelopes or anything like that, that's gonna be just fine. I am gonna cut this down uh, the height just like this. So if you are curious, the size of mine here, let me undo that. Not that it really matters, but it's about six and a half inches by four. This one, they're like, like I said, they're all very, very simple, but this one's so simple because you basically already have the finalized shape. Now, if you have any issues with the back, maybe the flap being broken or anything like that, again, don't worry about it because we're going to cover that up. I'm gonna use some papers. Actually, let me get scrap paper to make this a little easier. You can also incorporate fabric scraps, washi tape, whatever you have. Um, I'm gonna start by just grabbing some scrap papers that I can cut down. We'll just use these two for the back. So again, if you have any problems with the flap being damaged, just glue it on the best that you can. But if you're unable, you'll cover it with some paper, which will definitely reinforce everything. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue all over my envelope. Again, starting with the back, And if you like this type of video where I show you five different ways to use a certain craft item, you definitely want to stick around because I have a few more of these videos in this Bohemian Journal series. So I'm just going to line this up best I can with the corner down here. This paper is cute. I have no idea when I had this, to be quite honest, because I don't remember using this ever. I'm going to use my scissors to trim this. Then we'll cover the top here. That should be good. Trim. And we want the window to be on the front. Now, if you so if you don't have an envelope with a window, you can still do this pocket idea. Um, you could go ahead and cut out a little window if you want that effect but you can also just decorate this entire front if that's what you need to do, or if that's what you're working with, I should say. So now for this part, I am going to kind of, I don't like to measure, but I'm just gonna see how big of a piece I need to cover the top here. I'm not gonna be worried about this being perfect. I do want it to be a bit collagey. Just 
cover this like so. And then we just need some little strips for the side. And I kind of want to follow this collage style and use a different type of paper for the sides here. So that's really pretty and almost the perfect size. So I'm just going to glue that straight down. I'm not going to be too worried about making sure that my corners are rounded like the window is. I'm not too worried about that, but you can definitely get as precise as you would like to do. And then we'll just trim this off. And we'll just cover the rest of the envelope, except for leaving the window open. I'm gonna use this again. There we go. Now, of course, you can decide what theme you want to decorate this in or how fancy you make it. But since I am actually making this for a bohemian journal, I'm going to add a little bit of trim just right across here. Pretty subtle. I don't want to add too much since I have a lot of patterns going on, but I do want to be able to incorporate this into my bohemian journal. But again, maybe you're watching this video as more of a general idea, and so you don't need to do too much but I have this tag here and so to finish off our little pocket I'm going to add a tag and again depending on what theme or how fancy you want your um, final look to be you could use just a plain tag I'm gonna do a little stamp here um, these I believe are from Amazon these stamp I'll put any links below that I can but let's see what that looks like okay and I'm going to use a little bit of fabric to put through the eyelid. I don't want to focus too much on the tag since we're just mostly discussing the envelope ideas, but I want you to see what the final outcome is either way. Then we'll go ahead and just place this tag inside the pocket. It looks so pretty with a decorated tag inside. So there is the first idea. I feel like you would never know that this came from an envelope. Of course, you could make something similar to this with scrapbook paper, but it's just so easy to use an envelope that's already a pocket and turn it into something really pretty. So that takes us to number two. Again, another easy idea. Let's grab an envelope. For this one, I think I'll just use a regular craft envelope that I have here. The next idea is a flip pocket. So I'm going to use this envelope here and I'm going to take um, essentially a journal page. So this will become one of the journal pages in the journal I'm working on um, so that I can show you how to attach it as well. So this is the most simple way that you can attach it, which would be to simply glue this straight down to our page like so. However, you could also you can attach this many different ways. You could do it on the edge of a page and you could glue, you know, the inside flap here, or you could glue part of this down and have this be a tuck. So there's many different ways that you can do this simple idea, but I'm going to show you just glued straight down to the page. And essentially we're going to decorate this to look like maybe a pretty journaling card. This could be a frame for a photo. Um, you'll see that once we have it decorated, it doesn't just look like an envelope, you know, was glued down to your page anymore. I'm going to start with this one, um, with some fabric. Again, this is from a Bohemian, uh, fabric pack that I got from India from Boho Needs. I'm just going to not make it perfect. I want some of the craft edges to show on this envelope because I think that would be nice. But I am going to have a rather big piece of fabric here. Now you can also do this same idea with scrapbook paper, just kind of like we did with the last envelope. See, I told you these, these ideas were going to be real simple. Okay, I'm going to straighten this up just a little bit and then we'll glue this down. Actually, you know what, since this is really thin fabric, I don't want the glue peeking through since I don't have much time for filming. So I'm actually just going to use some double-sided tape. 
I'm just adding double-sided tape kind of all around the envelope but if you wanted to also use either scrapbook paper or a large piece of fabric you could also just glue or tape around the three edges and have a top pocket actually let's go ahead and do that because that makes it even more interesting so then I'm going to take the backing off of my tape here go and then we can just add this right here okay just kind of smooth it out but I want to add some more trim so we can make it real pretty maybe down like the center kind of like that I'm gonna glue some trim down the center this could be washi tape this could be ribbon this could be more paper scraps doesn't have to be exactly like i'm decorating and again you could also put a photo down or maybe a journaling card just something pretty so that it just doesn't look like a plain envelope okay i think we'll keep it at that although i have these little flowers might be pretty to use one of these as well Oh, maybe just in the center. Okay, I'm going to glue that right down. There we go. So again, now we have the little pocket, which I just have this tag that I made a long time ago. And I'm going to just add that down the top pocket here. But now you can see that we open it up and you have a nice little spot for some secret journaling or memorabilia, whatever you want. Remember, if you watch this whole series at the end, you'll actually see what I end up doing with these pages as well. But one little bonus idea, if you wanna cover up this flap in a very, very simple way, just take another scrap of paper that's the same height and maybe half the width of your envelope and you can just glue it right down, but why not make it into a pocket as well? <laughs> so we'll just glue three sides like that line it up with that flap and now you have a second little spot to store things right in here probably something small and then the flap of your envelope so number three we're going to make a double or a quadruple pocket depending on how you attach yours but I'm going to work with one of these super plain white envelopes. You can get these at the Dollar Tree or really anywhere. And we're gonna start by gluing our flap down. You don't have to have the um, this, type, this type of flap. It can be a straight flap or the angled one. It really doesn't matter. And while you can do this idea with any size of envelope, I definitely like the longer skinny version for this. But we are simply just going to fold up the bottom, not all the way in half, but I like to do about like two thirds the way up, leaving a little bit of room up here. So just get a nice crease going there. And then we are going to trim the very small sliver off the ends of the envelope so that we can utilize this opening here same with this end and so this is where i say there's a few different ways that you can do this you can either glue this flap all the way straight down you'll still have the pocket or of course we're always wanting to add more pockets right and so i say to glue down the edges the two sides so that you'll have an extra pocket behind but before i glue that down i think it's a little easier to decorate so i'm just going to take some scrap papers again you could also use different inks but i just like to do kind of the most simple route so i'm just gonna add glue straight down like that kind of line this up and then trim the rest off so 
So once I have both pieces covered with some scrapbook paper, again, since I am using this in my Bohemian journal, I wanted to finish it off with just a little snippet of fabric and lace that I had. So I'm just gonna glue that down. And then to finish this off, you can just go ahead and glue down the bottom flap to the top or you could use a sewing machine which is how i'm going to finish it off that definitely gives a really nice finished look i'm just going to do a zigzag stitch here and i'm just going to sew all the way down each side And then I'll just sew down the other side just the same way. We have our double pocket to finish. And again, let me show you. You can use the pocket that's in the envelope for one. You can use the pocket behind for two. And then we have number three on top. And then again, if you wanted to attach this into your journal page and only glue around the edges, then you will also have behind which would be number four so that just depends on how you want to make that but I think these are so fun and you can make a bunch of these up in advance and use them for your projects real easy so let's move along to number four so this next one could actually be made into a full journal and I will link below a full journal tutorial showing you how you could go take this one step further if you're interested but we're going to be making a mini booklet or a really small junk journal. So we're using three envelopes for this one. You do want them to all be the same size. And what we are going to do is essentially stick the flaps into the pocket part of the envelope. So I'm going to take one envelope and I want it to face this way. I hope that makes sense. So the flap opens to the right and then you're going to take your second envelope and you want to turn it over upside down and you're going to take the flap and have it point to the left and you're going to stick the flap into the pocket here like this. Line it up just right so that you can then take this page and fold it over like this. Then you're gonna take your next one and again, you wanna flip it over so that it's like pointing down to your table. Take your flap that's pointing to the left and you're going to also take this one and insert it into the pocket here of this next envelope. Now, from here, you can keep going and adding more and that's how you could really create an actual journal, especially if you use bigger envelopes. But since we're putting this one into a journal, we're going to just take that flap from the very first envelope and we're going to wrap it around so that it encloses all of the pages. Now, if you want, you can also go ahead and add a little bit of glue into each flap so that you are gluing the pages down. I'm not gonna worry about that right now because they really don't seem to come out, but I am going to take the last flap, like I said, and I'm wrapping it around to adhere it down like that. Now I use different colors because again I'm going to cover all of these and we can create a little booklet to put into our journal. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut down some pages from this scrapbook paper but of course you can decorate yours however you want. You could coffee dye them or stamp, um, stencil, however you want. I just cut down three papers that are just slightly smaller than the envelope covers and I'm just gonna go ahead and glue these straight down. You can have so much fun with this and just honestly, like I said, treat this like a journal and you can add pockets and tuck spots and all kinds of things, but just for the sake of the video here, I'm just going to keep it real simple, but definitely have fun with this one. You can make fun little inserts for all the pockets because now you see we have a pocket on each side on the left side here. And if you wanted, you can always just glue down the three sides too if you are also covering yours with scrapbook paper. And then you'll have a little top pocket as well. Okay, 
So I want this to really look like a little mini journal. So I think I'm gonna take some um, trim, sorry trim here that's dyed. And I could either tie it all the way around. Hmm. I think I actually wanna trim this down and add two little side ties. Not side ties, but closures, I guess. So I'm actually, even though I glued this down, I'm gonna just lift it up here. Add a little bit more glue, tuck it in like that. Just try to flatten it out the best I can. And then I'll do the same thing and add some to the back here. So I'm just gonna add some glue here add the last one right here and then to cover this up I'll just add a second piece of scrapbook paper so that the back is pretty as well. My dog's going nuts because the neighbor cat is meowing wanting to come in apparently. I don't actually let her in but she meows all day long you guys. What do I do? What do I do? Anyways now we have this really pretty little journal insert to add you can tie that and make it pretty. You can decorate this like it's an actual cover. I think I want to go one step further and just add a little bit of my um, bohemian trims here. And I'm just going to add just a little snippet because I don't want to use too much of this gorgeous fabric. But just a little piece, of, just like a little snippet down here. I think that would look good. So I'm just going to glue this. Add a bunch of glue to the pack here. And just kind of right there, I think. So then you have this really pretty little journal and you could clip this into the journal or you could actually glue it down to a page if you wanted. I probably won't do that since I have the back decorated, but you can get creative with it. And I feel like the little ties here really make the whole look. So let's go on to number five. Number five is going to be a pocket insert that you can use within your journal to create two different, I guess, pages essentially. And we're using a recycled um, longer envelope. So you want a longer one for this. Um, this one I think is probably about four inches by almost nine inches. So we are going to just start by covering both sides and I'm just gonna keep this one real simple so that I keep saying everything simple but I'm just gonna cover using some scrapbook paper so I'm just gonna cover this whole thing in glue and then just cover with scrapbook paper on both sides. again this one has a flap that is kind of coming off so I'm just going to repair that and <laughs> glue it on the best I can even though we'll cover it up but you'll want to glue down anything that's kind of coming up and then we will cover this side the back side just the same way you can get more creative with this but I'm just going to cover I'm even going to keep the strip on just for a little interest and we'll just trim this down and we're almost done with this one So depending on the size of your journal pages, you may need to trim this one down because we're going to essentially fold this in half. And this will fit within my journal pages, but if this ends up being longer than the width of your pages, so we'll say this is a signature in our journals, then you can go ahead and trim that down. Um, I am just going to show you next so for this one um i already have the top open on the envelope so you can either keep a top pocket but i'm going to show you what to do if you would rather have like a side pocket and so for that i'm just going to add a little bit of glue but only on one side of the fold if that makes sense so i'm just going to add a little bit of glue because 
let's say I would rather have a little side pocket for one of the pages. And so I'm actually just gonna trim down. I should have done this before I put the paper on, but that's okay. Just trim down one of the sides here. Just make sure I actually cut through the envelope. Yep, I did. And so I'll need to let this dry. Actually, since I have my sewing machine here, I'm just gonna, no, never mind. We're not gonna actually do that. <laughs> so I'm gonna get my circle punch to create a little knot. Not sure if my punch will actually cut through all of these, but, cause it's kind of old, but I'm gonna attempt to cut out a little notch where my pocket is. Oh, look at that. And then I'll just put one on the top as well for the other side. There we go. So now you can see that when we have it folded in half, we will have a pocket on this side. And then we'll have a top pocket. I'm just gonna use a little guess check that I have to kind of demonstrate what this will look like. It's just so simple and such a great way to reuse your envelopes and then again you're going to put this around one of your signatures or pages in your journal like that. Now if you wanted to create this and you already have your journal put together you can still use it by either just maybe gluing down one of the sides Let's say that's our journal page. You could actually just glue this straight down to your page and you'll still have a little double pocket um, this way. But I sort of prefer the way where it will go around a signature like that. And then you'll have one page here and then you flip through, keep going, and you'll have another little page in your journal. So I hope that you guys liked these really simple ideas. It was fun to create a video to show you just really simple ways to use everyday materials and things that we can recycle in our journals. Let me know what your favorite idea was. We'll go over them one more time. We have our little tag pocket. We have the flip pocket, our double pocket. We have the booklet. I think this might be my favorite. And we have the double pocket insert. All right, guys, leave me a comment down below and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.